Some of these have been sitting in my bag of things to take to the charity shop for quite a while, so I decided that it was about time that I did another DVD on haul. If you're unfamiliar with unhauls, it is the opposite of a haul, wherein I show you uh, the DVDs that I am now going to donate to the charity shop and I can do some mini reviews along the way. And these are in no order, but we're going to start off with one that I think is probably my favourite, and this is Sylvia Gwyneth Paltrow plays Sylvia Plath. I love Sylvia Plath, and... This film is heartbreaking, it's so poignant, so beautiful, and it really opened my eyes to her relationship with Ted Hughes. And, uh, yeah, Ted Hughes is played by Daniel Craig, and it's just such a gorgeous film. Then we have one that people said I would like, but I'm ashamed to say maybe that I didn't like it. I don't know if that's a bad thing on my part, because it seems to be really well loved, but this is an adaptation and it's about a writer who is struggling with writing and then his writing world kind of comes true and it's just, I didn't like the way they interweaved, I just I didn't think it kind of worked very well as a narrative. Great as a concept, but not that good as an execution. Little Black Book, I think this is probably one of Brittany Murphy's best loved rom-com comedies and I, I say rom-com comedy because it's kind of a rom-com but I personally found it more of a comedy so I guess it depends on what you're wanting out of it to what you'll get from it, but it's about a woman who is very suspicious of her partner and all of the exes in his life that somehow still still manage to stick around. So it's nothing overly unique, but if you like Brittany Murphy, uh, I definitely think this is one that you'll really enjoy. One of the two dummy films that I hauled recently, I haven't watched the other one yet, but this one, it just felt really dated. <laughs> And that's not necessarily the film's fault, but there are some films that are much older but live up to time. They're not affected. This one I just felt like it was lacking in something. It wasn't very creepy. Maybe if you are genuinely like phobic of dolls and ventriloquism, you might find it scary. But me personally, I have quite a high tolerance for that, and it didn't really move me. Second last, we have Conspiracy Theory. Uh, with Mel Gibson and Julia Roberts. This one I really liked. I love things that deal with conspiracy theory and how we trust somebody but we shouldn't trust them and, and I'm not explaining it very well but it's very good and I definitely recommend it and just look at how nostalgic that cardboard case is. And lastly we have one that I've already reviewed. I've done a completely separate video on this but this is the 2006 Sweeney Todd. I compared it to the 2007 Tim Burton's Sweeney Todd and it's wonderful. It is very different. That is my favourite film ever, the 2007 one, so obviously it wasn't going to be as good. But Ray, Ray Winston is a good Sweeney Todd. It's a very different way to tell the story and yes, whether or not you like that one, I would definitely recommend this one. So I mean, they're mostly pretty good. Nothing too bad. A few, I think probably Sil Sylvia and Sweeney Todd are my two favourites there with the black book coming up quite close. If you've seen any of these, I would love to know what you think of them. And if you have any other film recommendations, of course, I'm always happy to hear them. And I'll speak to you all soon.